A professional race car driver has been killed in a high-speed crash at Queensland Raceway at Willowbank, west of Brisbane. The 26-year-old was instructing a younger male driver when the vehicle crashed and burst into flames. Courtney Wilson reports. It was a training drive at the Queensland Raceway that ended when the 20-year-old driver smashed the high-performance car through a tyre barrier and into a concrete wall. Here's some fairly severe injuries. Uh, upon the vehicle making contact with the wall here, it has uh, exploded into flames. Uh, so there's extensive uh, injuries, um, both physically and also burnt. His 26-year-old passenger was killed in the crash. Sean Edwards was a professional racing car driver from the UK who was only in Australia for a short visit to work as a driving instructor. Authorities say the track had been hired privately for the day. With the impact of the vehicle, at, uh, at a speed you can imagine the, uh, the crunching that would occur and the, uh, the amount of damage it was caused. The driver was stuck inside the burnt wreckage for more than two hours, trapped from the waist down. Members of his family were at the track and saw the crash. It's fairly traumatic for them to see what's occurred and to wait this long to get some sort of information. When the driver was finally freed, he was airlifted to Brisbane in a critical condition. While it's not yet clear exactly how fast the race car was travelling, police say the extent of damage indicates the crash happened at extremely high speeds. They say the impact actually crushed the vehicle to half of its original size. It's the first time anyone has been killed in a car accident at the raceway. A motorbike rider was killed in a crash during an amateur race at the track earlier this year. Courtney Wilson, ABC News, Willowbank.